the Premiership drought had gone on far too long. It was back in 1960 that Mount Shinkogan, known by locals as the biggest little mountain in Australia, last gazed down on a team from Mullumbimby winning a Group 1 Rugby League Grand Final. Not until September 2004 did the northern New South Wales Township once again buzz with that special buzz. It was Grand Final Day and the Mullumbimby Giants had made it. They were matched against the always tough Lismore Maris brothers. It wouldn't be easy. It's like a grand final for the town. That weekend, Mullumbimby was united in a spirit of great expectation. More than 6,000 fans went to the Group 1 Grand Final of 2004. They saw a furiously contested, nerve-wracking struggle that went all the way to the wire. With 20 minutes to go, the Giants trailed 12-4 and seemed destined for defeat. Two tries and a conversion under heavy pressure saw them take the lead with just minutes to go. And when the full-time siren sounded, the scoreboard at the Mullum Paddock registered 14-12 and the Group 1 Premiership had come to town for the first time in 44 years. That's the best thing ever. Oh, there you go, the Giants. That's a fairy tale, that was, mate. What happened up in the Brunswick Valley one day last September was a reliving of one of the oldest and one of the most wonderful of all rugby league stories. What I saw here today was really special. This is what rugby league's all about. A team of determined young footballers backed by the pride, passion and belief of the small town had risen up and achieved a football moment that would last for as long as the game itself. They truly were the Giants. through town and all that, everyone talking and all that, so yeah. Is everyone right behind you? Yeah, the whole town is, they love their football here and all the boys out there are locals sort of thing, born and bred around here, so yeah, we get good support out there, which is good. Yeah, it's good, it feels like you're doing something for everyone else, not just yourself sort of thing. Oh, it'll be massive, I think most of the crowd's got, on, got Monday off, we've got about the week off. It's a big event, this is a big event, it's like the Melbourne Cup in Melbourne, that's what this is uh, to the people of Mullumbimby and the surrounding areas. And, as I say, it's a pleasure to be here and be involved and chat to a few of the people and they love their footy. Passion is the word that, that comes out from everybody that you talk to here today. You know, it gives them a link. Kids who play footy in the country, they see the teams play on the television, but they feel like it's so far away. And all of a sudden when you're there training on the field that they train on and having a chat to them, they feel like they're that little bit closer. They feel like rugby league can be something that they can get to. Uh, they they realise that the players are just human like they are. Uh, and, and it just brings it back to their level, which is the most important thing, I think, because that keeps them playing the game. Back that. No, this is what this is what rugby league's all about. Seriously, it's been an enjoyable day. We've loved every minute of it. Uh, in the end, the right team won, I suppose, but only because we're here and we're part of this 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 club, and um, we've enjoyed the involvement. And to be honest, I played. I, you know, I grew up pretty close to the city, and I, I didn't really get a piece of country rugby league. I know what it's like to play junior footy and, and to love the club you play for, but what I saw here today was really special and I enjoyed being a part of it. It was great. And to get a couple of thousand here like they did, it's, it's a credit to them and they, they, they love their footy and it, it showed today. Do you reckon rugby league will be pretty strong in Mullen from now on? I hope so, mate. It's been like around town this week, guys. This, team, this week, around town, it has just been uh, a buzz, a total buzz. Mullum are just on top of the world. The whole town, the whole community, all the area is just on a high because Mullum and have just made the grand final and they're all local talent boys. They're all junior boys. They've come through the ranks and no paid players. And it's just team effort, team spirit, and we've given them all the time. So there's yeah. a lot of pride and passion. Oh, a lot of pride and passion. With and there's party yes, at Glenda's place after. Yeah. Of course, your husband manages them, Glenda. And my, well, my I grade manager, and my son plays, but you know, great team. But no, it's um, a really big thing for our town, for our community, and we're so proud of them. Yeah, it's a good turnout, mate. Uh, hopefully the Mullen boys can get up and have a win. First, first grand final in 40 odd years, I think, so. We're all here cheer cheering from good turn out. Who's your favourite team? 
It was good. We, we did a lot of coaching clinics with a lot of young kids and they, they uh, took to it really well. So hopefully we'll be able to come back up over the next couple of years and do it again. It's good, it's good for uh, the community. Yeah, good for the game, good for, good for the community. Yeah, it's good for the whole town's coming together. Yeah. Thanks, great. Thanks, all that and uh, support we've had this year in all our games from all the um, community and that's been really great. Oh yeah, that's, that's, hey, that's the most important thing. Like I think, always think that country football is the grassroots of, of, of the NRL and that. So it's good to see teams from Sydney and that come there and put a little bit of input into the town. Oh yeah, it uh, really gives the t whole town a buzz, you know. So. But, yeah. It's big like that. So. Yeah. 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 Well, well all, with so many young blokes coming through, yeah. and that I think the town will have a pretty strong side yeah. for a lot of years. Just out of this one, it'll be one of the biggest. That come to town for the first time in 44 years. The best thing ever. Okay. There you go, the Giants. That's a fairy tale, that was. Thank you. 